Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams. And with the Labor Cup coming up in a couple of days' time, the teams have been finalized with the captains and the alternates also been finalized in the team itself. Let's go check out Team World to start because they need every player they can get. So having a look at Team World, this is, of course, captained by John McEnroe. He has been the captain ever since the Labor Cup became a thing. On his team, he has Taylor Fritz. Oji Ali Asim has also joined in, and he just beat Alcaraz at the Davis Cup, so he'll be feeling good about himself. Diego Schwartzman also coming into the team again for Team World. Francis Tiafo, he's actually joined as well, coming in for an injured John Isner. So big foe coming in off his semifinal at the US Open, of course, beating Nadal there as well. So, hey, Team World doesn't look too bad. We also have Alex Diminor, who loves playing for a team. He also just played the Davis Cup with Team Australia and did very well there. So excited to see Diminor in the team. And Jack Sock is kind of the double specialist for the team as well. A pretty solid team with very enthusiastic team players. And of course, the alternate is Tommy Paul. So if somebody needs to pull out through injury or anything... Tommy Paul will jump in as a replacement. Pretty solid team for Team World. And I, like I said, I think the team chemistry between these guys and being the underdogs against the goaded Team Europe, I think it might play in their favor. Let's go have a look at Team Europe now. And of course, Bjorn Borg being the captain for every single Labor Cup and is undefeated as the captain. And he has a very, very strong team. Probably the strongest team you could ever ask for. Starting with world number two, Kasper Ruud. He joins the team after his final of the US Open a couple of weeks ago. Stefanos Tsitsipas, he also comes into the team for Team Europe. Rafa Nadal, he is coming into Team Europe as well and not having great form on the hard courts the last few weeks and being an indoor fast hard court. Interesting to see how Rafa does and if he actually plays that many singles matches. Novak Djokovic, first time we've seen him since Wimbledon. He'll be jumping in for Team Europe once again. Andy Murray, he's also joined the team coming off the Davis Cup last week where he played a couple of matches in the doubles. And of course, Roger Federer in his last tournament ever Possibly playing a singles match, maybe just the doubles. We don't know yet, but he is coming to the team for his last ever tournament. And Berrettini is the alternate. So in case someone gets injured, you've got Berrettini coming in, who's an absolute beast. So we all knew Team Europe was going to be goaded. This is actually probably the strongest ever Team Europe based on both ranking and also Grand Slams. I mean, everyone in this team either has won a slam or been to a final, and it's going to be very tough for Team World. But like I said, I think Team World has better chemistry. These guys are all singles players. They're all very strong in their own right. But how will the doubles combinations look? So there you have it, the lineups for the Labor Cup, and it's going to be very interesting. I, I mean, it looks like Team Europe should win pretty easily. I mean, Team Europe have never lost the Labor Cup. They've won every single tournament that they've put on. Team World's only come close once, but let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win the Labor Cup? Is Team Europe as strong as maybe we first thought? Because a lot of those players are not in good form. Djokovic hasn't played for a while. Nadal hasn't won for a little bit. He's had a couple of losses on hard court in the last couple of weeks. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Team Europe are going to win as easily as we once thought?